Hello, this is Mr. Guevara, and I'm going to guide you through how to do multiplication. I'm going to demonstrate a couple of methods on how to use, you know, how to do multiplication. If you want to know how to do the adding, subtracting, and division, then I've included the links in the description. Right, let's move on to multiplication. Have you ever noticed that addition, add? I'm not sure I understand. Well, Siri. This is what it's all about. This is an addition. Right, so here is add. Okay, this is the simple add. Um, and have you noticed that if it's on its side, it looks a lot like multiplication? Look, if I just turn it around, there it is. So here's an easy way of finding out or knowing. This is how I remember adding and multiplication okay and what the symbols look like if it's standing on one of its legs here one point here it's just going to get bigger by another group okay if it's standing on two points here then you know you're going to add many many times that's one way that you can remember the difference between add and multiplication because they do look pretty similar right so let's use 5 multiplied by 4 okay so it's like saying we're gonna have 5 4 times so let's use an array we got 5 here so it's 1 2 3 4 5 okay it's got 5 that's only one time we're gonna have 5 4 times one, two, I want to keep it nice and orderly. Three, four, five. That's five two times. One, two, five, two, three. Let's get this cat hair out of the way. Four, five, one, two, three. That's three times, we want it four times. One, two, three, four, five. So we've got five here. One time, five, two times, five, three times, five, four times. It's like saying five, Add five, add five, add five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Oops, let's rip that off. Ah, let's leave it off. Right, so, and if you know how to count in fives as well, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. So that equals to twenty. So, Five lots of four, or sorry, five four times equals twenty. Now have a look at this. That's also if I do it this way around. Oh, what have I done here? Now we got one, two, three, four here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You've also got four, add four, add four, add four. But you know what? I think I know that that equals 20. I haven't done anything. I haven't added anything more to it. I haven't taken anything away. If I can count in fours, I bet you there'll be 20. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20. Wow, 20. And this is like saying four five times equals twenty. That's four one time, four two times, four three times, four four times, and four five times. So if you look carefully and turn it back up this way, we've got five times four. And you know what? That's the same as saying four times five. 
So really, it doesn't matter which way round numbers go, if it's 5 times 4 or 4 times 5, it will still equal to 20. Yeah, so if I change this, 4, 5 times, we know that they both equal 20. Yeah, let's get this black there, yeah. To simplify it for you, you have 5, 4 times, all you could do is 5, 4 times, so you say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 15, 20, and that's how you can do it. Or you can say, I'm going to count in five, because I know how to count in fives, I'm pretty good at it. And now I'm going to count it four times, four fingers up, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Okay, and if you come across anything like this, where you say to yourself, ooh, I don't know how to count in fours. But because of the law of commutativity, because it's a commutative, multiplication is commutative, you don't have to count in fours. If you like to count in fives, you can do it that way. Okay, so that's how you can use arrays. And I exposed how it is repeated addition there. Okay. Next, I'll show you how to group. Right, so let's group things together. Let's say, for example, we have 10, 6 times. Yeah, 10 times 6. When we do our little grouping thing, we want to know what the product is. So the biggest number here. We're going to have 10, 6 times. So we're going to have 10. We've got our one group of 10, two groups of 10s, 3, 4, 5, Six. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Lots of tens, and we want to know the product. So, all of these are parts of a bigger number. So all we've got to do is count in tens. So you've got ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, sixty is 6 in all 10s and 0 in the 1s and this is how you can do grouping let me simplify that for you we've got 10 we've got 6 so we've got 10 as the multiplier 6 as the multiplicand I'm going to draw my 6 groups here 5 and 6 and I'm going to put 10 in each one. It's just like repeatedly adding 10. And then you're going to say that that totals to 60. 60 is our product of 10 multiplied by 6. Or if you want to go back to five, four times, it's just like saying in the bar model. So we have four, one, two, three, four, four times. Okay, the multiplicand four. We're going to put five. The multiplier goes in here. Five each time. Now you've probably seen something like this similar before. It's a bar model. Excellent. So 5, 10, 15, 20. 5, 5, 5, 5. 
is the same as 20. 5 at 5 at 5 at 5, should I say. Right. So, hopefully here are a few ways for you to work out multiplication. Um, if you can count in steps of fives, tens, well, if you know your, your times tables and you know how to count in steps of certain numbers, then multiplying becomes easier for you.